We all know the classic story of a man in the desert on his last legs, just barely making it. Maybe he has a hat, but nothing else, no water, dying of thirst, just barely making it. And then, out of nowhere, he sees a beautiful pool of water and a tree coming up, an oasis. He doesn't have to go much further. Well, he travels along, and then what happens? It disappears only to reappear further out. What's going on here? Is he hallucinating? No. He's seeing real light rays. What's going on is that is two things. One, the laws of physics tell us that light takes the path of least time. Not least distance, but least time. And that's Fermat's principle of light. The other thing that's going on is that our brain, that is the human brain, assumes, or I should say interprets, light in a straight, straight line path. Excellent. So, let me explain. So here's our intrepid traveler in the desert, just barely surviving. Well, there really is an oasis. It's just that that oasis is very, very far into the distance. And what happens is because down here the sand is very hot, we all know on a very hot day, touching the sand on the beach can be painful. So I'll mark this as the hot zone. So it's hotter here. And in warmer air, light travels slightly faster. So the light ray, say from this pool, is traveling, dipping down close to the sand, going fast, 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 and then dipping up into his eyes. Same with the tree. These light rays comes down, gets into the fast zone, and then back up into his eye. Well, your brain, sorry, the light does this because it takes the path of least time. And it will get there quicker, even though it's traveling a little extra distance, by going down into the fast zone and then coming back up. That's the path of least time. The second thing that happens is that the brain assumes a straight line path. So the brain just traces these things in a straight line. Uh, let me use a different color here. The brain goes, takes these incoming light rays and assumes they're coming in a straight line because your brain thinks light takes the path of least distance, although that's wrong. And so you, your brain sees these light rays as emanating from right here not too far away. That is the physics behind a mirage.